Who is who? That's Mike. That's Mike. Yeah. How did Mike get there? Tell me. It wasn't me, man. It was. Okay. I just hit him. I just hit him, bro. I did. You just hit him? I did. Okay, lock, lock this down. On a hot summer day in July 2020, the sun beat down on a quiet stretch of highway in Louisiana. Hey, driver! The scene started just like any routine traffic stop, a pulling over a speeding vehicle. Step back here with me, man. How are you? Hey, good afternoon. I'm Trooper Nielsen, Louisiana State Police. The reason why I stopped here was for speeding. You know how fast you're going? No, sir. 73 and a 55, so it's 18 over the limit. Uh, do you have your driver's license? No, sir. Do you have a driver's license? No, sir. Then why are you driving? I was just okay. going home. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. I just, it's okay. I was just asking. What's your name, man? Michael. Michael. Is anybody with you? No, sir. It's just me. you have insurance? All right, show me your insurance. Whose car is this, man? Your big brother? The driver, a young man named Mitchell, was not only racing down the road almost 20 miles over the speed limit, but he also didn't possess a driver's license. Unbeknownst to Mitchell, this traffic stop was about to take an ominous turn. As the officer probed further, suspecting that Mitchell might be involved in more than just speeding, Mitchell's behavior grew increasingly suspicious. He claimed he was heading home, but couldn't provide a clear address, making it evident that something was amiss. Was it, when did you puff last? This was Be late. honest. Because I'm a drug recognition expert. About an hour ago. Okay. Okay. No, we're gonna, we're, I'm going to look at you, but all right, where are you headed right now? Frustration mounting. The officer sought permission to search the vehicle for any illegal substances. Mitchell reluctantly consented, unaware of the shocking discovery that awaited. While the officer scoured the front seats, nothing unusual turned up. However, as he inspected the outside of the car, he stumbled upon multiple bullet holes on the left side, turning a simple traffic stop into a puzzling mystery. It became evident that this case was much more complex than a young man speeding down the highway. Suspicion grew as Mitchell's stories began to unravel. He provided conflicting information about his address, his location, and even his last name. Hey, Scooter. All right, thank you, fella. Hey, now, who are you? I'm in a me to deal. The officer's confusion deepened when an unexpected visitor arrived at the scene claiming that Mitchell's family was looking for him. I, I just had this guy said that this kid, there's a kid that's been reported missing and that they took the car from Monroe and he lied to me about his last name, I mean his address and where he's from, that the daddy's looking at him. The stranger's involvement only added to the complexity of the situation. The officer's radio crackled with information that a missing person report was connected to the car Mitchell was driving. And given to this boy by another boy who's been reported missing. The missing person was Michael Robinson, the alleged brother of the boy at the scene, and the individual who had allowed Mitchell to use the car. Yet the owner of the vehicle remained unknown. In the bullet holes, I'd like to at least we need good, I guess I'll do as much good contact as I can. The officer decided to examine the vehicle once more, looking for clues and answers. That's when he discovered something that sent shivers down his spine. The lifeless body of Michael Robinson was hidden in the trunk. Suddenly, all the pieces of this perplexing puzzle fell into place. Mitchell was not related to Robinson, but had been involved in an armed robbery that had gone horribly wrong. In the chaos of the robbery, Mitchell had shot Robinson multiple times before disposing of his body in the trunk. 
with the horrifying truth exposed. Answer any questions. You understand? If you cannot afford an, an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you by the court. Do you understand? Do you understand? Who is that? Who is that? Listen. Mitchell was taken into custody, charged with armed robbery and the second degree murder. He now awaits trial knowing that his life will likely be spent behind bars, serving a sentence for a crime that started with a routine traffic stop on that fateful summer day in Louisiana.